Assalamu alaikum. This you are watching Lab Versity, and this is CS by MFSL double two one zero for O levels. So the topic that we will be discussing today is the one topic that usually students uh, really struggle with, and that is the iterative statements. Iterative statements in layman terms are called loops. And uh, when we are discussing uh, the Cambridge syllabus, we have three loops that are by the name of for next loop. And uh, where they are used, I have actually mentioned in the brackets, uh, brackets further, is that for next loop is used when a range is defined. I will get back to that later. And then the second loop is repeat until, uh, that is a post conditional loop, and while, do, and while, that is a preconditional loop. So let's get back to the for loop for starters is that we said that a for loop is used when the range of repetitions is defined. So a loops, a loops are used in programming when we want to repeat a statement again and again and don't have to write many lines of code for it. So if I had to take a number and write down its 10 multiples, I don't need to program it, uh, program it to uh, multiply it and write every line of code again and again as in three ones are three. 3 2 is a 6, 3 3 is a 9, 3 4 is a 12. Instead, I can write one line of code and then this 3 will automatically be multiplied by every preceding number and the multiple will be given. So if I had to write a code or a pseudo code in which I take one input, uh, one number as an input and print its 10 multiples. So in that condition, I know that I have to repeat a statement 10 times in order to get the table or multiplication table of a particular number. So for this case, for next loop is uh, the best loop because the range of repetitions that is 10 is predefined. So how will we initialize a for loop is that first of all, our question is write a multiplication table, write a code for multiple of a number that is input. First 10 multiples. So here we know that our uh, 10 repetitions are required. So what we can do is, we first know that we have to input a number. So input enter a number comma num this will be our variable that uh, we will give and then we can say <coughs> for count 1 to 10 okay so this is the this line is the line that we used to initialize the for loop so for key st uh, for statement and then we take a variable called index or counter or whatever and then we declare it declare a range to it range of repetitions so it will start from 1 and it will end till uh, 10 so what will we do is that we will take a variable called mul multiple is equals to num multiply by count so for example if my first input was uh, if the number i took before starting the loop was 3 so this will be 3 ones are and then the answer will be saved in mul variable and it will be 3. And what I can do is that I want to print the answer. So I can say print mul. And then I can write next. So what will happen is that next count means that this line will come back to this line and then it will execute these two statements again. So whatever it is written in, inside a loop will be executed until the range of repetitions that is 10 ends. So this, these two lines will run 10 times. And then, uh, okay, so our code is complete. Let's dry run this code and see what, our, uh, what our output will be. So first of all, we input a number. When we started the program, the program starts from here. This is our program. So we entered a number that was 3. 
And what do we get in multiple? So uh, the count became 1 and 3 ones are 3. And then it pr it print the multiple. Yet this print will be This will be printed alongside. And then uh, it went again. Now count became 2 and num because it is outside the loop. This is uh, this is out this statement is outside the loop. Will not repeat itself. And uh, the num re will remain 3 and count will become 2 and then mul will be 6. This will be 3, this will become 3, this will be 9 and so on till 30. We will get the first 10 multiples of 3. So this is how you use a for loop. Uh, in order to define a for loop, you first need to know how many number of repetitions there will be. So here we had to write 10 multiples, so I had to initialize it from 1 till 10. And you have to write 4 and then you have to take a variable called count or any variable in which the values will be incremented one by one and in order to end a for loop you will write the next statement so it, it will run from here till here in the next videos i will be solving uh, more questions about the for loop uh, in which we will be taking averages and counting uh, vehicles and after that we will be doing repeat loop and while loop so keep watching labversity this is ma fessel thank you